In the video, we like to show you some examples of what you can do at home to work on the extension of your leg. Sometimes you can have problems after ACL surgery, meniscus surgery, or just um, a common injury of your knee. We like to show you some ex examples on the right knee. What you can see here, he has a, a small deficit of the extension. We have a hard feeling in the end position and uh, some problems with the stretching of the straight leg. What you can do before you start working out with your partner, just, just take, a, take some time for a massage most of we take about 10 15 minutes just relax a little bit the back of your uh, of the leg just work on the calves just work on the upper leg just do it nice and easy just to relax a little bit all the muscles around the leg after you did the massage what you can do is mobilize the kneecap now i would like to show you how to do this you place, we place one hand on the blow part of the kneecap like this. The other hand you place above the kneecap and you start to mobilize uh, in all directions, sideways, up and down, all directions. Another possibility what you can do is let your partner sit on a table. What you can do is you place your hands on the below part of the leg and start to mobilize gently forwards and backwards of the below part of the leg. What you can do is mobilize in different kinds of positions of your knee in a more bent position or in a more stretched position. Now, just be very careful with people who just had an ACL operation. Don't go too hard, just do it nice and gentle. Don't go too hard. A more, more common exercise is just keep the leg straight. Uh, what you can do there is just stretch the leg. The most common question I always have is how hard should I, I press? Now, if you press too hard, the muscle on the backside of the leg uh, got a lot of tension. It's very uncomfortable for the patient. Um, it's not a very nice way to do. Now, a good way to handle this is if you go on a scale from zero to 10, um, it's not allowed to press harder than a, a scale of three. So what you ask the patient of your partner, uh, how much pain does it bring to you. If it's more than three, it's too hard. Now, do it nice and gentle. Take your time. Don't go in a rush. You can't do this in one or two minutes. I always take a lot of time to do this. Um, so be gentle with this and take your time. A simple way is to use a big book. What you can do is put the book under the heel cap and just extend the knee as possible, much as possible. Now you can even do it during watching TV, put your uh, foot on a table and let uh, uh, use the gravity uh, a little bit or to extend your knee. Uh, so you have a nice stretch in the back of the, the leg, you have more extension. A great easy way to mobilize your knee is to use a board. 
This board you can use everywhere. You can use it at the office, you can use it at home, you can use it in a rehab studio. It's a great way. Now, what we do is ask the person to stretch the knee and put the toes towards you. Now, it's important beside to stretch your knee is to put some more tension in the upper side of the leg so we got some tension in the uh, front side of the upper leg muscles. You can, like I said, you can use it everywhere. We use it quite a lot and it's great ways to mobilize the flexion and extension of your knee. An exercise what you can do on your own bed, just lay on your belly, put your knee knap uh, over the edge of the bed and use the gravity to extend your leg. So now down you relax your leg a little bit, go back in the extension and let use gravity to stretch your knee. An exercise, an exercise which you can do everywhere is just walk on your heels. Now, if you walk on your heels, you got automatically an extension of your legs. And what you also try to do, and you will notice that, is that you got some tension in the upper part of your upper leg muscles. Simple exercise, you can do it everywhere. Go into the extension and try to put some tensing on the front side of your upper leg muscles. I do have the experience that a lot of patients want to put the crutches away as soon as possible. Now that has uh, good points, it has bad points. The bad points is mostly that uh, if you don't walk properly, you don't uh, put good weight on your leg, uh, you have an asymmetric uh, load on your leg, uh, I recommend a lot of patients just to use a little bit longer the crutches, take it a little bit two, three weeks, it doesn't matter, it's important that your flexibility is a first priority uh, of your rehab.